So, what's up everybody? What's up YouTube? It's Jelly. I am pissed at my new camera, the uh, Senna uh, tube. It, um, I went out for like three hours yesterday. I rode for about a hundred miles and just kind of took my time, went through the woods and had a nice little ride. And this camera, as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, um, you can't really set it up. There's no screen, there's no way to look on your cell phone and see the way it's pointed. You kind of just have to eyeball it. You can't tell if it's crooked, if it's down, if it's up, but you, you got to look in the mirror and kind of line it up. Well, I just used my um, the position of the mountain from the way I had it the day before, but I guess taking the camera out of the mountain in the mountain, it kind of moved a little bit. So it was basically pointing straight down. It was like, it was like this. That's that's what you saw the entire like three hours. It was just like straight down. So um, I couldn't use any of the footage, and boy was it good. So I figured I would just take you along again today. I wasn't planning on doing a motor vlog, and uh, it was it's probably better. I didn't really have anything to talk about yesterday either. Ooh. I did take it out on the highway for the first time yesterday. That was part of the video. And um, boy, I, I'm impressed. I went, uh, when I got on uh, on the highway, when I got onto the actual ramp um, and just opened it up, wow, I went from like 40 miles an hour to 100 in no time flat. And uh, also out of the woods, I like riding out there because there's no one around and uh, I was just uh, kind of stretching the bike's legs a little bit. I do believe in a um, break-in period for a bike. I do think it's important. I think it's like an actual thing, unlike global warming. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I believe in global warming. I'm just saying that, um, you know, some people are like, oh, you know, modern engines, you don't need a break-in period. I think you do, uh, personally. So I take it easy uh, on my bikes the first 600 miles. And uh, I do think it's an actual thing that people should do. I was reading online about uh, oil changes um, on this bike. And um, some people were saying, oh, you, you know, the, the manual says you're supposed to change the oil after the first 25 miles. And first 25 miles, are you kidding me? Uh, needless to say, I read the owner's manual cover to cover, and nowhere does it mention that you should change the oil after 25 miles. Uh, every time I've changed oil, whether it be the first oil change or um, or not, the oil's been pretty clean. I've never had dirty oil. I've never had dark, disgusting, crap-filled oil. It's always been pretty, pretty good. Um, so I'm going to wait the full 600 miles and then change it and then go on a normal interval. Um, so I think that's 600 miles is, is good. You know, because you're going to have metal shavings and things just from the, the engine wearing in that you're going to want to get out of there. But, um, you know, that's what you have an oil filter for. It's going to catch all that stuff. So after the first 600 miles, I'm going to do the oil change. I ordered a uh, oil change kit from Yamaha. Uh, they recommend the Yama Lube oil, which I bought. It was $35. It came with three quarts, uh, uh, you know, a gasket and a filter. I do have some K&N filters that uh, I have left over from the other bike, and uh, which are compatible with this bike. But I'm going to go with the Yamaha. Um, once you buy the bike, they uh, send you an email and you can sign up for their guarantee, which is like 100,000 miles uh, if you use the Yama Loop, which it doesn't cost any more than, you know, normal uh, oil. So yeah, I do agree with the break-in period. I do um, understand why it's important to kind of go easy on the bike for the first 600 miles. Uh, I expect to keep this bike longer than uh, two years. So I want to take care of it. I'm pretty handy when it comes to oil changes. I have the front end lift and the rear end lift, so it puts the bike level. So um, 
it's good for oil changes. It's basically just like a center stand. So, yeah, excited about that. So, quick miles check, we are at 286.2 miles. 77 degrees out today. Oh, sorry, 285. I'm at 285 miles. So, I'm almost halfway there. Yeah, yesterday I, um, I just stretched its legs. I didn't go anywhere near the red line. I just, you know, got it up to about 100, 110. And just, uh... Wow, it was it was so much fun, and uh, I just wish you guys could have seen it because it was really cool. That, and I wish uh, my first highway ride was uh, recorded properly. I hope this is recorded properly. Who the hell knows? I tried to readjust it, and uh, and hopefully this is uh, working well. I've been working on my shifting. I've been very uh, smooth. Haven't had any more stalls. I've been good. I also called my Honda, my uh, Yamaha dealer today to check my plates, see if they came in. She said no. I was planning on a nice ride out there today, uh, being that it's so nice. Uh, it's going to be nice tomorrow too, but but I don't have any faith in the motor vehicle agency to uh, turn things around quick. I wish this camera was just a little more user friendly. Like I wish it had Wi-Fi built in so I could at least look at the alignment on my cell phone like you can with the GoPro. I did find my GoPro camera. It was uh, behind my desk, buried under a pile of wires. So I'm happy I found that camera. I'm giving this one uh, an honest chance because I do like how slim it is. I do like how compact and right against my helmet it is. I'm not a huge fan of the side view like this you know i i do prefer a more straight on view um and have always wanted to do that with the gopro it was just a matter of getting it mounted properly um so i did on my other helmet i have a silver helmet which is my gopro helmet which is has the mount on it i took the gopro out of there i reworked the mount and uh, i kind of came up with a a chin mount for it uh, using a shoulder a, a chest strap mount uh, that came with a kit that I bought so I kind of fashioned a, a mount and uh, and it, it, it seems to be um, like it'll work fine Like I said, I want to give this one a fair shot because if I can keep this camera um, and, and rather than use the GoPro, and that sounds crazy, I know, use this $100 camera against a $300 camera or whatever the, Go, the Hero 4 cost, uh, it sounds insane. But I don't like that big box next to my head. I don't like a big box attached to the front of my mask. You know, I just think people can hardly see this one you know it's it's kind of out of the way it's not hanging off my helmet like a like an arm I got the most interesting guys just either stick their hands straight out or do like a uh, hi hi kind of thing this guy did a roundabout roundy roo pointy thing and once I get around this turn I'll show you what he did it was pretty funny I, I laughed out loud he went like this so I'm driving this way he's coming this way he goes and points at me I was like wow that's pretty funny very creative I do the uh, two fingers out palm towards them type of deal and um, not very creative, but I figure it's better than, you know, the pointing straight down thing or, you know, like a flamboyant high. I'm up. Boop. Boop. Straight up. I'm actually headed towards the beach right now. I'm going to, since it's such a nice day and it's supposed to, we're supposed to have thunderstorms later because a uh, cold front's coming through, I'm just going to go check out uh, the boardwalk. And I like to do that on nice days. 
I have noticed that the brakes on this bike broke in a little bit. Uh, they definitely are rippier than they were when I first got the bike. Uh, I, I just kind of, a little bit of pressure and this thing uh, comes to a stop. And one thing I'm mindful about is the fact that I no longer have anti-lock brakes. I did have those with the old bike. So uh, I am mindful that I have to kind of keep it in the back of my head that I don't have anti-lock brakes and I can't uh, go crazy with the brakes. So that's a diff uh, another change besides the manual shifting. Am I the only one that's had a problem with remembering to turn off the turn signal? You know, it, it wasn't an issue on the other bike, but it is, you know, now, uh, or it was. Um, was that an issue for anybody else or am I just an idiot? That leaf stuck right there. You know. Yesterday I saw a lot of deer. I saw a lot of deer that looked like they were contemplating suicide because they're standing right by the road and they don't care. They look at me like, yeah, so? And I'm just waiting for them to just jump out. I don't know at what point deer stop being afraid of loud, noisy, fast things, but they just kind of look at you and go about their leaf eating. Last time I was out there, I saw a, uh, a couple of bear cubs. So, I'm always looking out for them too. They're not, I don't think they're as suicidal as deer. I've had them in my backyard before, and they just stand there. They don't, they, I remember as a kid, we used to go up to the Poconos every weekend. And uh, tons of deer up there. And you used to open the back door, and they used to just scurry away. They scampered and, is that a word, scamper? I think it is. They used to just run off. Now they just, like, they, they don't care. I think they're going to rise against the human race and kill us all. After having uh, sat on this seat for three hours yesterday, I'm, I'm happy with the Saddleman Gel Channel seat. Uh, I wasn't tired. I, I stopped about an hour and a half into the ride uh, at my B spot, and it was nice to get off the bike, but I wasn't in any kind of pain. I mean, it was fine. There's the bay where you go crabbing. We went crabbing this summer, and uh, a lot of pregnant crabs. I guess we went in uh, mating season, but that's not a pretty sight, a pregnant crab. They got this weird thing attached to it. Ugh, gross. I don't even like to eat crabs unless they're like king crabs or snow crabs or, you know, there's these little guys that you work for, a, you know, a spoonful of crab meat and it takes you three hours. 300 miles, 300 miles even. I did notice yesterday that this bike was kind of sucky with fuel economy. I know it's breaking in. I know it. I know all about it. But I had two bars when I got on the highway and the ride on the highway was about 20 minutes and by the time I got off the highway my gas light was blinking. So I'm averaging right now, let's see, now this is after I filled the tank, I'm averaging, well that's 77.5 miles to the gallon, that's instant. I'm averaging 51.1 miles to the gallon. So. It sounds good. It's a 3.7 gallon tank. It sounds good. But it just seemed like, I mean, I got on the highway and it was, I mean, quick to go from two bars down to blinking gaslight. One thing I do like about this bike is that when the fuel light starts blinking, you have a little counter that starts counting how far you've gone since the since the uh, fuel the light started blinking and uh, so it tells you how far you've gone so that you can kind of gauge how much fuel you have left or how far you've gone until you're going to run out and have to walk so i think the reserve on this on this bike is 0.8 gallons so not quite a gallon um, so i'm figuring a good 30 miles um, before i'll be walking You didn't see that. Whoa. They do one section every winter. Holy crap.
you're one of those people that takes a free sample of something, like, you know, those people that hand out free samples of, you know, sausages or ice cream or what have you, and you just take it just to get something for free, and you don't even pretend that you might consider buying it, you're just doing it for the free stuff, I have nothing to say to you. At least pretend. Gale Force. I noticed that in the video, the bike doesn't seem as loud as it actually is. I forgot to put my earplugs in uh, when I came off the boardwalk, and um, it's so much louder than it appears in the video. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to conclude today's moto vlog. I wish I could have used the footage from yesterday, but say love you. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to uh, spend just a little bit of time with me. And I uh, hope you're doing well. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you can like up the video, I appreciate it. And as always, have yourselves a fantastic day. Take care.